Hey guys, it's Tom. I'm from CellPhoneTrack.com and today we've got the HTC Hero. It's the GSM unlocked version. As you can tell, it is comes in this patented flat white. It's actually a special material that's fingerprint resistant, so there's not a lot of smudges on the outside of the phone. It keeps this nice feel, as you can see right here. Uh, we have the five megapixel autofocus camera here on the back. We have the external speaker, the mini USB charging port and data port. And besides those two features, the only other external feature is this uh, rocker bar. I would have liked to have seen maybe a, sh a shortcut button to say a camera or maybe a easy lock feature, but they didn't put this on here. Uh, this is the G1 predecessor. Um, you see here, um, accept call, end call, home button, and the menu button. You also have a quick Google search button along with the back button and HTC's uh, trackball right here. We're just gonna go ahead and turn this phone on. You turn the phone on, it goes ahead and it vibrates. Also, I forgot to mention real quick, the 3.5 um, millimeter headset jack. And while this phone is also turning on, I'm just gonna peel the back off real quick to get you an idea of what the uh, battery compartment is going to look like. It's, um, once it's on, likes to be on fairly well. I'm having some difficulty getting it off. Here we go. You can see this is the uh, back. Here's the back side. There it goes. Turn it on. This is where you're going to put your micro SD card right here to, to install or to install and or remove, you're gonna have to remove this back battery cover to put the uh, SIM card, or not the SIM card, but the micro SD card. The SIM card slips into a little slot underneath the battery here. So, now we get the phone on. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, put the back battery cover back on there. And we're gonna wait for it to load up. Here you go. It's currently locked. Just slide that down. You've come to your home screen here. It's loading all the um, different home screens. There's seven home screens. And as it loads up, I'll peruse through each one. Um, this runs Google 1.5 Cupcake Build and also with the um, HTC Sense UI. Here you go. These are just a selection of different customizable screens. The phone comes with six pre-downloaded screens. You hit the menu button, you go into scenes, and right here we have the HTC screen, the social, the work, the play, the travel, and just a clear slate where all seven home screens are gonna to be totally blank and customizable to your particular needs and wants. We'll just go ahead and we'll just pick social real quick and done. And we don't need to save whatever was on there. And it's gonna go ahead and load up. Here you go. As you can see, we have Twitter, this is mail, these are for contact lists, text messages, blank screen. Let's go back this one. This is your social calendar. You could go ahead. Let's, you hold down here, hold on the screen. For the this is a 3.2 inch capacitive touchscreen. Come on, there we go. You could add a HTC widget, a shortcut, Android widget, or a folder. We'll go ahead and put an Android widget on here. You have the analog clock, the calendar, you have Facebook. We'll go, since this is our social, we'll just throw Facebook on here. We've already have our pre-downloaded um, Facebook information from a previous page, so this is obviously an update, and you can go through what people have been saying, you know, their status updates. Type in here, you want to type something. This is the full QWERTY keyboard. It works in landscape and portrait mode. Come on. Wow, 
well, when you're br browsing the web, unfortunately when you're just in this home screen updating your status, it doesn't do anything. Hit the back button. Hit the back button. There you go. Phone's fairly simple. You have previous calls, information like that. You add your new numbers. Get rid of the keypad. Just peruse, see, see who you've called before. Quick Google search button. You want to search something, say cell phone track. Um, let's see if we can get the landscape mode to work here. If we want to. Let me just type in cell phone track because it is hard to type when it, you are backwards. Sorry guys, there we go. Cell phone track searches. Like we said earlier, this is currently running on the T-Mobile network. And it failed. Oh, because we're on the Wi-Fi. We're on our Wi-Fi network right now. So, and we have currently got that blocked. So that's all there is to it. We'll Going here into the menu, you have settings. Go ahead and personalize all of that information right there. Different choices. So let's go back. We can go ahead and get into a different screen here. This is just your main page where you're going to have people, messages, browsing, you know, your calendar. Go ahead, bring up, this is your main menu. Let's go ahead and show you what the camera is going to look like. What I did like about the camera was it is a 5 megapixel camera, but when we go ahead and take a photo, let's just take a photo of this right here. The autofocus takes a little bit of time before it actually captures the photo. Um, video was the same, but was a bit grainy. Um, Let's see, trackball for zooming in, zooming out, and uh, you have a large array of different, when you hit the menu when you're in the camera, you have, let's bring that back up, you have different resolution features where you can choose resolution, obviously we're on the highest resolution possible right now, um, go back to menu, just back. Menu. You also have your white balance, your self timer, your brightness. So that's always nice. Bring us back to the main menu here. If you hit the plus button down there, it'll bring up your automatic Android widget, HTC widget shortcuts. So that's always nice. Overall, the phone was great. Uh, this has a 528 megahertz processor, which definitely gives the phone a very fluid feel. Uh, it was only a real bit laggy first time you bring up a, a new widget like with this calendar widget. Come on, go to the date. See so, uh, an event. There we go. And just type some stuff. You can, Push down on the trackball to select what you wanted to do. And go ahead and we're done.